So what is that that you're applying right now? This is a uh, cleaner and citrus remover. Okay. Help with the grime on the bottom, the roll grime, stuff okay. like that. Okay. You know, you want to prep it real good before you go to wash. Got you. I used to have a shop in Atlanta. I had a shop in Houston. So, you know, them, them, them clients don't go nowhere. Right. You know? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. And even the clients from here, mm -hmm. like Gilbert Arenas and all of them, yeah. those are my clients. Oh, for real? Yeah, you know. My boy that I grew up with is Gilbert Arenas sports agent. So I used to do Kwan Butler's car, do all of them. And then when I was in Atlanta, so you, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, you got some heavy hitters. Yeah, and then, you know, being in the industry, and you know, growing up with people, I already had clientele from that. Mm -hmm. Like in the A, I used to do, you know, like JD, Akon, all of them, their cars. You know, and VA, Teddy, and all of them, Timberland, Missy, and all of them. Mm. Like my old shop in Tidewater, they still go to that shop. So I mean, I guess it was just through word of mouth how you know how good you were with you know cleaning their cars. And who was your first celebrity that you worked with? Actually, my first celebrity, which I don't consider him a celebrity, mm -hmm. was Teddy. Okay. Me and Teddy Riley lived across the street from each other. We went to school together. Damn. You know, so, and then it was Biz, and then, you know, but back in them days, I had different type of lifestyle, so I had my own paper. Right, right. You know, my own thing, you know. Tell y'all youngers out there, that shit don't never last, so mm -hmm. don't, even, don't even get into it. Yeah, it sir. Worth it. I don't care how much money you make, how many cars you buy, whatever. It ain't worth your life, it ain't worth your freedom. Mm -mm. You know. But growing up in Harlem, you know, everything started in Harlem. So, yeah. You know, and then I had my very first car wash at 15. Okay. Yeah, so, you know. Actually, they gave me to speak about my car wash in, in a documentary uh, Bruce E. B. from Harlem is doing with the rooftop. Hey. And that's going to be a documentary in the car, you know. Car wash was famous, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody from LL, everybody came to that car wash. Yeah. You know. That's... That was back in the days when you started with the crackheads, you know. Right. <laughs> but it was the it spot to be. So, yeah, exactly. You know. So when I moved from Atlanta here, you know, I started I started mobile here. You know, actually I started with my own car, then mobile. Mm -hmm. Then got this shop. Been in Bowie for eight years. You know, then I built a new joint in uh, Glen Burnie. Okay. You know, this business is rocky, but every now and then you come across people who are good people, workers and customers, mm -hmm. and you grow from there. Like John, John been with me almost, what is John, four years, five years? Something like that. Yeah. Put it like this, John's son now is three. I remember when he wasn't here. Right. So, you know, and he's still kicking it strong. And you he's know. still around, that's what's yeah. up. He outlawed, he outlived any, everybody. Yeah, it's hard to find good people. Yeah, and the funny thing is when I first met John, his idea was washing a car, was leaving it out in the rain. <laughs> and now look at him, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's a whole beast now, got that thing shining. Yeah, you know, and you have good people that support you, you know, and that's, that's the most beautiful thing, because for real, the second most expensive thing people buy are vehicles, mm -hmm. you know. And then you, you know, you meet interesting individuals. Right. You know, who also, my customer base also becomes my friends. Yeah. You know, and you meet people's family, you intertwine, you watch people's kids grow. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I agree. You know, 31 years, well, 32 years now doing this, I met some everybody. I could tell that you really enjoyed, really oh, yeah. enjoyed it. One one lesson my dad taught me, he said, not too many people are fortunate enough to make a career out of what they love doing. Yeah. Me, I love cars. Mm -hmm. You know, my motto is, you just paying for it, it's mine. Right. You know, because yeah. that's, that, that's how I treat all my customers' vehicles. Yeah. Like, you know, why it's in my possession, it's my car. Exactly, right? exactly. I'm going to take care of your car. That's, you know, that's what's up. I have customers that leave their cars with me overnight for weeks, mm -hmm. months. Sometimes we have cars here so long, 
Did I, I, I forget that it belongs to somebody else. <laughs> you know, but it's all good. Right. Sun team and I do artwork and he's one of my promoters. Um, I'm here today at Touch Up Detail, as you can see right here, because I sold my first piece of artwork to the owner, Troy. Uh, it's up his BMW i8, so that's what we're doing in our video of today. I had the opportunity to see him from you know being a little kid and I mean literally I taught them perspective drawing and to see what he's done today is amazing. Yeah, this is my first painting that I've ever drawn for somebody. I drew this for the owner of Touch Up Auto Detailing, and today I'm here to present it to him. Hey guys, I'm about to surprise Keanu with his first payment for his first painting. He doesn't know that I'm buying the painting from him. He did me a painting for my car. So here we go, fellas and ladies. All right, here we go, guys. I'm about to surprise him. This is for you for your very first painting. Wow. So, I'll give you a little bit of interesting news. I met this young man when he was little. And his dream of always drawing cars and coming by looking at cars. So, now he's 15 years old. And this incredible painting right here, he surprised me with of my car. So, I felt it only right that I present him with this check of $400 for his very first painting and donation for his future and what he's trying to do as an artist. Wow, man. thank you so much. All right, All right man, thank you so much. You're welcome. And I hope this helps you in your future endeavors and keep up the good work. All right, man, you too. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome. Now, do you use the citrus on the tires? Or? Well, the trick to citrus is depends on the type of rim. Because citrus will stain titanium wheels. This right here is called Frank's. Okay. It's a general purpose cleaner. It's okay. safe on anything. Got you. So when you don't know, you just go to this. But it happens to be one of the best cleaners. So I we know. Use, we use this on everything. When it comes to my tires and rims, I'm, I've been using that purple, purple stuff, purple, purple degreaser. Power. Yeah, purple power. That's good, but I'll tell you even one better. Mm -hmm. um, get you. Purple power is actually good, but most of us don't use purple power the right way. Okay. Purple power diluted some. Water activates purple power. Mm. So if you just pour it straight on the rim, you kind of wasted not, it. Not doing nothing. Get a container like this. Pour about this much in it, pour the rest of water, and you'll see it'll get stronger. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. And never, and never put purple power on your wheels in the sunlight or a hot wheel, because it will stain your wheel. And then you can't get it out. Oops. <laughs> You're like, man. Oops. <laughs> I still sitting here like, who told you that, man? What are you learning about? Yeah, I've been doing this 30 years, man. I mean... Child, Child yep. I was just about to say stuff that. Stuff like that. And then I take classes, I learn stuff, you know. And I, I just pass it on. You know, some people hit, hit, get it when when you say it. Other people gotta learn it the hard way by replacing shit. <laughs> now we ain't gonna say no names, you know. Pan down there to my man, <laughs> exit right. You know, he's bought a few things in here. You know. But it's okay though, it's all a learning curve. Mm -hmm. For all y'all out there that's looking for work, come holler at me. Yeah, I need some people for this location and the new one. Okay. You know, I need everybody from unexperienced that I can teach to experience. I need 
window tenders, PPF, ceramic coating, people, I mean, everything.